like I said, animals, you know. Caesar, Caesar got buried there. I've had dogs, now we've got a cat, and my previous cat, the Siamese, was eaten by coyotes, I'm pretty sure of that. But this cat is indoor cat, and yeah, I kind of have to admit it, love the little animal. Baby. But there was a little service here a couple of years ago because uh, when Vancouver hosted the Winter Olympics, what happened is after the Olympics, business wasn't going as well as expected. And imagine that what they did is they had these places that were doing uh, dog sled rides in the winter. And what they did in the summertime is they slaughtered all their dogs. And basically they took them out and were shooting them. And some of the dogs weren't even dead and running around. And uh, it, it was like unreal. It was a big case about it. And uh, people were charged criminally. But uh, it's kind of sad. Sad, sad, sad. And that, by the way, goes for even the way we treat uh, animals that we consume, like uh, hogs and cattle and uh, chickens, turkeys, whatever. I mean, there's some real inhumane things going on. And uh, just I don't approve of it for what it's worth. For me in the interior, there are two areas that I really like uh, for scenery. And one is the Nicola Valley around Merritt where I grew up. And uh, the other one is uh, the South Okanagan from Penticton heading towards uh, Oliver and the Soyuz. The, the landscape is absolutely phenomenal. It's just beautiful and there's a lot of wildlife to be seen. You still have deer, sheep, uh, all kinds of birds, and it's just a really beautiful area. So we are continuing our drive down. We're now coming up by the Vassal Lake uh, BC Park area, and uh, it is uh, quite pretty. Okay, Cindy's got good eyesight because she spotted the ships. And I'm joking, it's not ships, it's sheep. Wild sheep right here beside the road by Vassal Lake. We film them often at uh, little ones. Just a couple of them here. One's there and there's the other one. But Cindy's good eye caught him. There's a big fence here to keep him from coming on the road and getting to be squashed. At times I have seen a fairly sizable bunch of them along here. But uh, for a long time we haven't seen any. You, normally we film them down by Grand Forks. And you can hear the traffic on by the highways right up here. So. It is a hazardous area for animals, but like I said, it's still pretty cool that you can come into this area and still encounter wildlife. We saw some really big ones coming through Golden uh, uh, when we're coming back from Calgary on our trip a couple of years ago. Really big rams, big curl on them, and they were right in the city. That guy just froze in there. He's not moving. He's got his feet up on the rock so he can get a little bit better view. Oh, there he goes. Now it's moving on. 